Hi everyone, this video is focused on the 8.4 practice worksheet. I've chosen two problems to demonstrate in this video. The first one is number four, and it's asking to find a missing side length in a right triangle round to the nearest hundredth. So on number four, we got a 29 degree acute angle. The hypotenuse is 29 also, and we're looking for the adjacent side. So again, Sokatoa. Just get in the habit of writing this until we're very proficient. From the perspective of the 29 degrees, we know the hypotenuse and we know the adjacent. So if we look at our functions available to us, the one that we know the most information on is cosine. Now when we're looking for a side length, we're going to use the ratios themselves. So we're going to say cosine of a given angle theta equals the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And in our case, we've got the cosine of 29 degrees equals x adjacent over side length of 29. And we're going to solve that by multiplying both sides by 29. Um, and that has the effect of cross multiplication. And at this point, we're just going to use our calculator to find x. So we've got the cosine of 29 degrees times a side length of 29. And we have 25 point, and it said 100, so I've got 3, 6 here units. And that's an example of finding a missing side length. The next example I'm going to look at on this worksheet is number 7, and number 7 is trying to find the measure of an angle. So when we're finding measures of angles, we use the inverse functions. And let's take a look at what we have here. So we want to find angle B. So the, from the perspective of angle B, we know the hypotenuse. And we know the adjacent. So from here, we are looking at cosine, or the inverse cosine, I should say. So the inverse cosine of adjacent, the ratio of adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse is going to give you back the angle measure. Cosine inverse and our adjacent is 25 and our hypotenuse is 30. That's going to give us back angle B. And at this point we're going to use a calculator And we get, well, we were asked for the nearest tenth, so angle B is equal to 33.6 degrees. And I know that um, some of you may be finding the ratio first, 25 uh, divided by 30. And that is a repeating decimal, um, 0.8333 repeating. Now, depending on what you plug into the calculator, it could give you um, back a slightly different angle. These ratios are very, very sensitive. So what I like to do is I just um, insert into the calculator 25 divided by 30. I don't really even find what that is. I have the calculator do all the work for me so that I get the most accuracy. All right, and that's the end of this video. Thanks for listening. Hope it helps.